Hi everyone, welcome back to another match day vlog. And we are back for round four of the Polish football. This weekend's schedule is a bit late, uh, but it's up to the broadcasting schedule, so cannot do much about it. So you'll probably see this recording on a Monday morning. But we are back, we're in the city of Wuj. Uh, had to travel three hours by bus to get here. We are here for the Vidza Vuj game. As you know, it's very difficult to get tickets. And basically I've been trying for the last two years. And this weekend I finally succeeded. Uh, I had to check a couple of times if it actually is working. But today's game would have not been possible thanks to the following people, the fans of Slansk Wroclaw. Apparently last year during the same game, uh, they were chanting some naughty stuff from uh, their sector. And that resulted in them being banned for today. And because of that, Vizev decided to sell out the away sector, which meant like around a thousand tickets came up for open sale. And I managed to bag one. I am actually pretty excited for it uh, because I now get to get the full experience. Uh, last year I was here uh, for the game against Legia and I did have a press pass, but you know, for me personally, it didn't really feel like witnessing the atmosphere or better said, being part of it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to a good atmosphere, a good experience. Uh, Vice is in form. If they win, they can get the first place today. And it is definitely possible against Slansk. Slansk is focused on the Europa Conference League and they need to save their European run uh, on Thursday, I think, uh, at home in Wroclaw. So the focus will be there. Now I have still some time to kill. Uh, it's pretty early. Uh, the match is at eight, so, so I'm going to grab some early dinner walk a bit around the city and we'll see each other at the stadium because there are some events planned there so it's going to be a good atmosphere. <laughs> It's the viral away sector. I can order your pizza. It even went viral in Holland. <laughs> I like the new shirts of this year, uh, but I prefer my shirt from last year. I think it's the third kit. Slowly starting to get full, uh, but I'm going to take advantage of this and eat a kielbasa. I'm not sure it's fair to compare because look at the size of this thing. So the price is 25 zlotys, but you get like a bun and you can add so many toppings in. That was a very good sausage. A bit chewy, but it's because it's lean meat, I think. Uh, not much fat in it. The price was 25 zlotys, I think for the amount that you get, because it's a massive sausage. That's a good value. I like the fact that you can add jalapenos to it. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, but this is the only club that does it, so I cannot really count that. But I will give this definitely a solid nine. It's a new leader. We are inside. Not the most ideal view, so I'm probably gonna stand in the back. That must be the worst seats in the house. Just looking at this window.
So the first half was pretty fun, uh, high tempo, uh, time went very quickly, not much stoppages. Both sides are in balance because both of them try to play as much on the wing. Spons did have the biggest chance with a one-on-one. -on -one. It was a high challenge. Spons was already the more dangerous team, but now it's going to even be worse. So it wasn't the result I was hoping for, but I still enjoyed my time there. Uh, the atmosphere was great, but I think that's always the case at Vidzev. But I have to be honest, uh, Slansk deserved the win. They created much more chances. I think Vidzev had only one shot on goal in the second half. Uh, actually over the entire match and what I noticed was when Slansk was attacking Vitesse was so deep that whenever they got back the ball they had no options up front to pass it to so they just kicked the ball far away Slansk was very effective with their quick cross passes uh, luring the defense to one side and then quickly long ball to the other side anyways Vitesse is not the league leader after today uh, Pioskem tomorrow attempt to get it. Unfortunately, I cannot be at that game uh, because at the same time it's Vissar Krakow against Rogozhu and it has been a while since I did a Rogozhu video so I'm heading to the bus to back to Katowice. Again, apologies for the late uploads but it's out of my hands. Luckily, I still had the Wi-Fi of the press room at the stadium so half the video footage is already uploaded. Thanks for joining me. See each other tomorrow at Vissar Krakow. Please like and subscribe, you know what to do. Boba! Such a big modern train station and there's nobody here. Do people from Wuji even use the trains? Let me know.